What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nerdgasm. Today we're going to be talking about the stuff with Gideon. We haven't seen Gideon in a while and she was really awesome in season one. Personally, I remember when I found out that Barry was the one who was supposed to invent Gideon and it made me so freaking happy. I just thought, oh snap, we're not even going to need Team Flash. He's going to have his own personal assistant somewhere inside the suit. Just like Eobard Thawne did when he found out that he was trapped back in time after he killed Barry's mother. The first time, not the second time, where Barry had to ask him to do it. I need you to kill my mother. With pleasure. Fucking, fucking Barry, man. But Gideon was awesome. That whole thing with her helping out Thawne in season one, she was honestly an important character, from, from my point of view anyway. She was an important character in season one, especially for Thawne. And the stuff that she knew... Just all the tech that was being used. I don't know if maybe Eobard had enhanced her in some way, but when stuff was going down, she knew what was going on. She knew about the Tachyon device. She knew about the Speed Force. So it's possible that Thawne did some enhancements on her after he stole her from Barry, or it's possible that Barry just put him in himself. The reason that it would make sense for Barry to finally create Gideon this season is because, one, he now knows about the Tachyon device. He knows that Eobard used it, he probably knows that it was used to help split Firestorm before he went all nuclear, and he's used it in Season 2 when he was fighting Zoom. Barry also now has a way larger knowledge of the Speed Force. That means that if Barry were to create Gideon, he would be able to put all of the stuff he knows about it inside of Gideon, just like the Gideon that we saw in Season 1, knowing about how Thawne was disconnected from the Speed Force and being able to detect the Speed Force inside of Thawne. What's happening to me? Your latest time jump against the Flash caused a massive drain on your powers. Your cells contain no trace of the Speed Force. That's impossible! Your ability to move at super speed as well as travel in time has been completely depleted. Barry is finally at the point where he's learned so much, probably also thanks to speed reading, even though he doesn't retain everything he reads, and his history fighting metahumans, working with Team Flash, going to the future, going to the past, doing ridiculous things like Flashpoint, having his best friend Cisco being able to open up ruptures to different Earths, that's probably helped enhance his knowledge too. So this would be the perfect time for Barry to, oh, I don't know, come out of the Speed Force. Oh man, I saw some crazy stuff in there. My knowledge is completely enhanced. You won't believe the things I saw in the Speed Force. And then he just gets to work. Coming out of the Speed Force with more intelligence or more knowledge of whatever it is that he's going to come out with, it doesn't necessarily have to be Speed Force knowledge. It doesn't have to be Speedster knowledge. It could just be an overall knowledge of science, the way he perceives things now, because of how long he was trapped in the Speed Force. He could finally come out and make Gideon. And I'm not talking about the Gideon that's on Legends of Tomorrow. You guys know that's voiced by a completely different person. In case you guys didn't know, this version of Gideon is voiced by Marina Baccarin. She is on Gotham as Dr. Lee Tompkins, one of my favorite characters. She was also on Batman the Brave and the Bold, she was in Firefly, and she was on an episode of How I Met Your Mother. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because seeing as how Barry created Gideon, and it's her voice that's being used, I would really like to see her just show up in an episode of The Flash, and then Barry's like, I love her voice, I'm gonna make Gideon, I wanna use her voice for Gideon. I want. I would just love to see her in an episode of The Flash, please. Can we do that? Can we make that happen, CW? Poor favor. I would really like her. It's just weird that we haven't heard anything about Gideon. Gideon has pretty much fallen off the face of the earth after season two. She was barely in the episode Potential Energy, and then she shows up in the episode The Reverse Flash Returns. And that was just for a split second to see if Eobard Thawne was in the right time period. That wasn't even really a Gideon thing. That was just... anybody could have asked him that. It's just that in the comic books, when people typically go into the Speed Force, they have some kind of weird epiphany and they end up learning things that they had no idea about. Like when Johnny Quick was about to get absorbed into the Speed Force, he had this crazy epiphany about what the speed really was. When Deathstroke was absorbed into the Speed Force, he figured out that the Speed Force was like another plane of existence and he saw things that he never thought were possible and it actually turned him away from being a killer. So Barry coming back with more knowledge would be great. And in the comic books, Barry has a bunch of cool tech that we still haven't seen. We've talked about this before. Future Barry had an awesome suit and he had tech built inside the suit. Tech that could pretty much be Gideon seeing as how the suit talked to him. And this Future Barry was not Savitar. This Future Barry was actually cool. Look at the suit. It was awesome. There was blue lightning. It covered him. He was just amazing. Clearly this version of Barry doesn't exist anymore. I'm just letting you guys know. DC Rebirth just squashed 52. And even before the future version of Barry showed up, Barry Allen was still able to create like amazing things or at least had help to create things. The suit that he had fit inside of a ring and was made out of armor that was flexible. It was just flexible metal. It was awesome. And another time he had help building kind of like a visor that told him how much speed force energy he was actually using so that he wouldn't accidentally go overboard. Things like that that Barry made or had help making 
are things that I would love to see in the show. And again, I just want to see the actress who voices Gideon show up in the show. Please do it. But let me know what you guys think about Gideon. Do you think she's finally going to show up this season? How long do you think until we actually see Barry create Gideon? Or do you think he's messed with the timeline too many times for Gideon to even show up anymore? Leave all the stuff in the comment section below and let me know what you guys want to see later on. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.